Command Offset allows to move or copy selected elements a specified distance. This is very useful function purposed for two tasks, uh, copy element on a distance using graphical or numerical variation. Usually we use numerical, just insert value from keyboard and check copy. Uh, now check it, then click in necessary element we are having copies, like this. Uh, if uncheck copy, selected element is moved. Offset direction matches with side we point cursor, bring it to the right side, it's going to right, then to the left side, it's going to the left. Key tab helps to make using offset function more convenient. By tab you can select an offset for the whole chain of walls. Um, now bring pointed to the wall, tab, so all walls are moved. Later we'll devote lesson for this task. Offset frequently helps in case of wrong snaps elements. So you can move element a certain distance or at least visually place it to the right to the right position. Now here in the video it's provided. Now let's delete this chain of balls. You may need to draw a perimeter line around the building. For example, we have slab boundary and there is need to make second contour around with one meter offset. Uh, this option fits properly. So then copy is a classical tool. We select an element or elements using control, then enter. Uh, we have to make points where from and where to we copy, let's say on the face of wall, copy elements. Here in the option bar there is a graph constraint, this lets you to move element in orthogonal directions, uh, uh, but I recommend you better to use shift, just hold it and copy elements to any direction. Then there is option multiply, select again, multiply. Uh, if check it, we are able to copy several objects at once without choosing elements each time again. So the, the one, the second one. It might be useful if you need to make, uh, to, if you need to place elements on different distances, for example grid, because uh, you're not able to multiply grid of axis by array tool. Well, uh, two similar functions are mirrors. The first one is mirror pick axis, the second one is draw axis. Select our walls again, then go to pick axis and mirror according to this axis on the wall. So it's done. Mind that you can move elements either to copy them. Uh, we go again to mirror pick axis. Now let's delete this one. Pick axis. And uh, if uncheck the corresponding graph, walls are moved. So let's go back now. In case of mirror draw axis, you don't pick existing axis, but uh, draw it yourself. Uh, now uncheck copy and draw axis yourself. So the object is moved. Uh, next option is rotate. Uh, allows to rotate objects. Let's select some object. Uh, mm, let's take this component table. Uh, basically starting point in the in the center is in the center we have to choose some random angle or insert it from keyboard so let's say 80 degrees there are some interesting things in here rotate an object we can copy it uh, and rotate not the source object but its copy uh, uh, let's let's pick the wall as an example now this wall, rotate, check copy, then rotate. 
then only copied object is turned. While rotation, we can disjoin elements or not. What does it mean? Uh, select wall again, rotate, and if it's unchecked, the wall retains connections with surrounding elements. Uh, sometimes, it's, sometimes it's good and if you move single wall or slab boundary, but in case you need to move just one element and the rest have to remain in the place, then click disjoin. And after rotation is completed, the only selected object is moved. So it works. The others stayed on the place, so it depends on your task. Next option here is angle, uh, select the wall again, um, uh, allows to set needed rotation angle for the object, you also can do it in temporary dimensions. Uh, the, the option center of rotation, uh, this is a point to be rotated around, uh, uh, make the point somewhere, right here uh, or just grab this hand and transfer it to the needed place uh, then we can easily rotate wall and if uh, you have good big object or groups then uh, to rotate them properly is better to set coordinates